We're familiar with people owing us money. The account we've used most often with that is accounts receivable. However, there is another receivable account that may be used, notes receivable. What's the difference between accounts receivable and notes receivable? They're both used when someone owes us money. However, if someone owes us $5,000 in an accounts receivable, they'll pay us $5,000. If they don't have a return allowance or discount, of course. If someone owes us $5,000 in a notes receivable, they will pay us more than $5,000. The difference is interest. Notes receivable requires the amount that was loaned or given to be paid back plus interest. A notes receivable may originate because we loan someone money, or it may originate because one of our customers that has an accounts receivable with us cannot pay in a timely manner. We could convert the accounts receivable to a notes receivable and give them a longer amount of time to pay. However, we would now also charge them interest on top of the amount they owed us. How exactly do we calculate interest anyway? Interest is stated as a percentage and is calculated on the amount loaned called the principal amount or the face amount. The interest rate is given as an annual percentage. So if a loan is given with a 10% interest rate, this is the rate for the entire year. To calculate interest, we use this formula, P times R times T, which stands for principal times rate times time. The principal is the amount of the loan, rate is the interest rate, and time is the portion of a year for which the interest needs to be calculated. The time component can be stated as a portion of 12 months or as a portion of 365 days. Interest does accumulate every day that loan is outstanding after all. Let's walk through a notes receivable example. Assume we agree to extend a note to a customer to replace an existing unpaid accounts receivable balance. The customer currently has a balance of $7,000. We agree to give the customer a six month, 8% note. We would convert this account to a note by debiting notes receivable for $7,000 and crediting accounts receivable for $7,000. We've now taken the customer's accounts receivable off of our records and created a notes receivable for the same amount. It has been six months and the customer sends full payment for the note. Let's calculate how much interest we should recognize. Remember the interest formula, P R T, principal times rate times time. For this note, the principal is $7,000. The rate is 8% and the time is six months, so six twelfths. This means that the total interest on this note for six months is $280. Therefore, the customer would pay us a total of $7,280. We would debit cash for $7,280. The notes receivable is recorded, however, only for the amount that was loaned, the $7,000. Therefore, we would credit notes receivable for $7,000. Wait, we don't balance. That's right, because we're not done. We haven't recorded the interest yet. We earned interest by loaning this money to the customer. Therefore, we will credit interest revenue for $280. Interest is definitely interesting.